Hello again everybody and a very warm welcome back to the channel. It's been a really long time but for the uh, first time in many many months we're checking out the latest updates to the H135 helicopter project, the freeware version from Hype Performance Group. All the links are in the description down below if you do want to get your hands on it. We're at Melbourne, Essendon with the Orbex scenery, of course the home of Orbex and we'll be enjoying the very recent world update for Australia as well which is really exciting so hopefully you guys are all loving that and uh, here we are fresh out of the paint shop created a bit of a rough uh, channel livery for the purposes of today so hopefully you guys enjoy it I'll put it on flightsim.to as well so uh, you can all download it and I'm hopefully going to be doing some sort of live stream with this in the very near future and uh, the planning for the route is underway so uh, do keep your eye out for that if you're new to the channel please do hit subscribe down below and don't forget to give the video today a little like as well and as always share your thoughts in the comments down below so it's uh, an Airbus helicopter or a Eurocopter as it used to be and uh, they're also creating a H145 with a civilian uh, luxury and a military variant too the last time we took a look at this helicopter, it was um, quite bare actually and not a lot actually worked. But early indications suggest that they've made huge changes, huge swathes of updates to this. Um, it doesn't look too dissimilar to what I remember from before. But the overhead panel itself, a lot of these now all seem to be clickable, which is exciting. Gen 1 and 2 at the top there as well. One thing I have noticed. You can now set your custom views and they've actually got a really nice rear cabin area too which wasn't present before with some fantastic opportunities for some window views and of course the real rear tail entry area too which you guys can make use of for those helicopter ops so you can go ahead and set some really easy custom views with this which is a great thing to see and if you're not too familiar with helicopters um, like i'm not you can use basic mode for the flight mode They've also got an advanced and the Xbox PS4 variant too, which uh, we won't be checking out. I'm going to leave it on advanced mode just to sort of see what, basically what it what it's like. Flight tools in the EFB, it's good to see that they've tweaked this and improved this over time. Com and everything at the top, Com 1, standby frequencies, Com 2 and transponder there as well. And you've got the procedural turns and things for arrivals departures at certain airports and you can add your minimums which is a really nice feature to see. We're cold and dark currently, and uh, for those of us who like the basics, and are not really quite sure where to start, you can just hit ready for takeoff, and the helicopter will pretty much bring itself to life. So we've got all the lights on now, and we're going to get her ready for departure. Looks fantastic, the emissives are great, the sounds are fantastic. The animations are vastly improved as well, so that's great to see. I'd love to, uh, I'd love to check out their H145 and uh, see the difference between the two. This is a fantastic freeware helicopter for use in Microsoft Flight Simulator. The sounds are incredibly good. See the strobe lights bouncing off the uh, bottom there as well, off the floor. And back in the flight deck, everything's uh, fired up. Got a bit, a bit of a PFD in a map area down here, which is really cool. And you, actually, you can use them independently, which is a really nice feature. Rear baggage door. We can open that using the little tablet area, which is very cool indeed. And we can close it by using this. In fact, we can open all the doors too if we want to, like so. We can open it right up for a bit of a tactical option for those of you who like the uh, military style stuff and there's your rotor brake here as well replay mode ready awesome okay let's get our airborne using the basic flying mode just because I'm not uh, particularly great at this but the model does look fantastic doesn't it And away we go. Well, 
Melbourne CBD in the background as we're approaching in our little Osprey Critical Services H135. It's nice, uh, it's actually quite nice to be able to get up close to a lot of these um, world updates, if you like, using a helicopter. You can hover and have a good look and explore the area and uh, it gives you a really good appreciation actually for how good this simulator actually is down below. I mean I appreciate we've got some additional photogra uh, photogrammetry because of the world update here but it looks remarkably cool. So got a stadium further up ahead just here and uh, naturally there's a field just outside of that that we need to land in for whatever reason it might be. I've got it in basic mode because I'm rubbish at these. And of course, for whatever reason, we've decided that we definitely need to land in that field because it's the most suitable option. And we can pop the rear door open. Here we go. I'd love to do some uh, Helimed style ops with this. I think it'd be great fun. Or even some oil rig journeys on there. Some of those really tight, restrictive helipads. Of course, if you've got freeware design for the helicopters, then you won't necessarily sink into the ground like we've done here. But having said that, it's still fantastic fun. I hope you've enjoyed this short video revisiting the high performance group H135 for Microsoft Flight Simulator, an incredibly good freeware helicopter that's advanced significantly since we last took a look at this. If you want the livery, then head to BritishAvGeek.com. There'll be a page there with all our channel liveries, including now the Osprey Critical Services Helicopter H135. And the links for this helicopter mod, the add-on, will be in the description too. Thank you very much for watching, don't forget to hit like and subscribe, and I'll see you very soon. Take care.